Okay, guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so in this video, we're going to be learning how I was able to create this. Let me see if I can lay hold of it. Excuse me. Yep. All right, so how I was able to create this from scratch to finish. Look at it. So let me quickly show you the before and after. So this was the image when we started, and this is the after. So in this tutorial, we're learning how we created this from scratch to really step by step guide. We'll do every single one of them in Photoshop and we are giving out every single asset we are using in this video we are giving it out to you for free so you can try it on your own studio setups and see how we can be able to bring that Christmas vibe into your shoot okay so let me use this opportunity to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday and to crown that all Photographics Academy as a team so thank you for an amazing change change for wants to do the biggest giveaway we've done this year so we are giving out close to 100 free backgrounds of some of our packages that we have in our store that we are selling actually we're also giving it out you know for free some like i said some not everything though but some of them you are getting it for free some actions some plugins you will get them for free and close to 100 feet backgrounds and props that you are going to be using in your own images come to 25 so all you need to do is just make sure you are subscribed to our youtube channel and drop a comment for us on any of our videos take a screenshot of those two and send to our personal dm so if you are not in any of our community and you're a subscriber just go to the description of the video click on the whatsapp link and you are going to join our community where you can be able to drop your own screenshot and get your amazing gifts one more time thank you for an amazing 2024 all right so without wasting your time let's quickly get started so this is the image you're going to be working with i'm going to crop it using my 4x5 and if you watch the one i just showed you you'll notice that they were at the rule of thought of the background even though in the original image that in the center so the reason i had to do that was because i needed to bring in that tree and make it look still compositionally professional so i'm just going to still mimic the same thing all right so this was what we did just put them in the thoughts like this okay press enter so photoshop is going to pop that now i think this is too large let me go back again i would prefer to work with this yeah if we need to expand then we'll do that this is okay for me pick up your market tool and of course select here and also select here let's see how photoshop materials with that scenario i'll turn it away it does a good job stick to that if it doesn't then beat my mouth oh beautiful let's see the floor amazing this is good i love what i love the way photoshop did that that made our job halfway done so i'm going to make the bottom of the image and remove it from the background so go to select object so this is going to be a very quick one. Trust me, it's not going to take all your time. Very, very. All right, selection done, except that we need to make some adjustments. So I'm just going to click select inverse and just push out these selections a little like that. At the ear area, at the head area, I don't know why Photoshop is seeing the object perfectly, but we just have to modify the mask. Okay, yeah. Nice. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we can just make a correction of that. Put this in a bit too. Put this in, minus the leg. Just make sure you modify your mask. Okay. Nice one. Okay, so I think we can accept for here on the mid. Yeah, we work with that. Okay, so I think we can work with this. So make duplicate your background. Right, pick on your image, go to layer, be a cut so you have your object on a separate layer. Make sure your object layer is all the way up. And now let's start bringing in our props. So the first thing we're going to be bringing in is our background. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it over our image. Scale it in to fit into the image. Just scale it so you make sure that it's looking like they are seated there. Yeah. 
I think I like this uh, presenter. So what I did with my own, instead of changing the blend mode to overlay, of course that might work, but we'll lose all the three dimensionality in the background. One thing I did with my own was that I just desaturated it this way and increased the lightness a little. So that way we are able to retain even the three dimensional looks on the background. Of course, we're going to get the shadows back much more later, but for now, let's keep going. So I'm going to get in my Christmas tree, which I have here. So I really took the liberty to make a selection of it. So if you look this way, you will see where it's already selected. Come in, I'm going to make a selection of this. All right, so you notice it's already selected. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it over my image and scale it down as well. So I need it, I need it to be behind them, way behind them, but of course, much more taller. So it's here, right on the background behind them. Then I'll just make it look a bit taller, just like that, press tap. Beautiful. So I want to shift the hues and saturations a little to make it more like a, a lighter green kind of stuff. Yeah, something like that. But I wouldn't want to also target the uh, reds in the image so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into the masters go to the greens and now change the hue so you notice as i'm changing it it's just affecting the greens yeah, so i need to desaturate it a little just like that move it this way maybe like darken it down slightly and we're good to go so the next thing we would want to bring in is our gift box our gift box i'm just going to drag it in i don't think i have that selected so i'm just going to drag it in place it here and make a selection of my gift box and that is done halfway so we'll just modify the mask or the selection and we are good to go add this place up add this place up add here up add here up add there add here yeah i'm going to minus this area and we are good to scroll swap those coins. Make a duplicate, play up your cut. Of course, all these are not necessary. You can just cut it out without even doing all of this. I just want that to do. It's not necessary, like I said. Okay, so we'll just place this over here. Scale it all the way down. Make sure, of course, it's behind. So I want it looking like it's part of this tree. So, of course, it has to appear small. So we'll just place it here. I love it like this. It's good. Okay. For free, but what's it going to look like? Uh, it's going to start entering my image. Okay, so I think I like it like this. No, I don't. So we'll just keep it here. There would work. Press enter. So the next thing we would want to bring in. Um, let's see. Okay, so we'll have some flowers over here. I think I have that selected as well. Let me check it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I don't. So I'm going to bring that in. This one over here should be putting this PSD file. Yeah, this is it. So I'm just going to drag it and place it over my image. Bring one, bring it to this area, bring it down, make it small. Of course, it has to be behind. Oh, it doesn't really matter at this point because it's not going to be lapping with the tree so shouldn't be a problem so once i have it there i'm going to go to control U, which is my hue and saturation then i'm going to just move the greens again is it greens or yellow i think it's more in the yellow so i'm just going to stick to my yellows okay yeah that's it so i'll just tilt tint it to a point or change the hue rather to a point it starts looking similar to this yeah. It down a little rabbit, but I think it's too small, so it does make it a bit bigger. Yeah, like that. Press enter. So I'm going to make a duplicate of that and drag one all the way to this left hand side or the right hand side. I have it there in a uniform manner. So the next thing we want to bring in is our teddy. Yeah, here it is. I was going to drag it and place it over here. It should be up in this one so i want it at the foremost front of the object because i want it looking like it's sitting with the family so let's we'll place him here yeah let's keep him over here 
bring him down a little and now it's time to get our shadows back so if you look at this image you're going to notice that they are looking compos compositionally cool except the fact that they are hanging and here is also hanging so to fix that shadow issue i'm going to make a duplicate of this drag this all the way up place it over my object just like this and uh, change the blend mode type Yes, the fresh or any brand mode that will allow you to restore the shadow without even making the whole place look unrealistic. Okay, I think I love what I have here. All right, then let me just paint it in first. I'm going to hide this with a mask, pick up my brush, and just restore some original blood to it. Just like that. Then I will use my blend mode to look for the exact one that allows the shadow coming very realistically. I think I love the way this is handling it. This is the before, this is the after, pretty full. So this works. And the last thing is to introduce shadows for my tree. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the layer just behind the layer of the tree right here. I'm going to create an empty layer, pick up my brush, make sure it's a hard brush and make sure the black is selected on the, on the background. Just make it that, press Ctrl T, hold your shift and drag it down till it's making like it from the floor, then drag it and drop it over here. Yeah, just right here, make it bigger. Just like that, so we've been able to get some shadows into that area. Press enter. So make a duplicate because this one, this time around, we have to come for my box. So it has to be smaller as well. Place it here. Press enter. So you can decide to blow it out. You can decide to reduce the opacity. You can decide to do anything just to keep it realistic. I think I need to blow it out a little and even push it inwards more. This is good. Push it inwards. Yeah. Do the same thing for here. Blow this out. And reduce the opacity. Just enough to make it look realistic. I think this is not looking exactly like what I want it to look like. So bring it down a little more. Press enter. Okay. Let's see. Can push this backwards a little more. All right, so we are good to go. So let's do a very big before and after. So this was the image before we started. This is after. This is before. This is after. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Remember, like I said before, every single thing we are using here, we are giving it out for free and a whole lot more we are gifting you in this period. All you need to do is just be a subscriber and send us a proof of your subscription. Watch any of our videos and make a comment on the section on the comment section also take a screenshot of your commentary and send to us and you are going to get over close to 100 backgrounds some of our premium packages for free and a whole lot more that we are giving you if you are not in any of our whatsapp community just go to the description of the video you will see the link to our whatsapp community click on it and you will join our community so you can as well participate in the giveaway exercise thank you very much for watching this amazing video when you subscribe do make sure you click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then see you and enjoy this season happy happy holiday see you next time